Hello and welcome to the MAC weather page for this Tuesday, November 17th. You can see temperatures quite mild out there in the uh, mid to upper 40s, even 50 at that uh, Nuevo location, which is normally colder, but cloud cover has moved in there, so they're a little more insulated. And we expect another pretty mild couple of days coming up. We'll have a chance of showers uh, late today, but especially into uh, Wednesday. We've got a lot of dry air across the Great Lakes, and that's causing that uh, precipitation that's moving this way to dry up. So just sprinkles or maybe a light shower, mainly through uh, the overnight hours, and then I think a good chance of showers will come as a strong cold front will be moving into the area. Now, less and less precipitation have been forecasted on the models here over the last couple of days, and that's because the storm is now weaker. In fact, it's become so strong, it's taken a further west, west track up into uh, uh, Minnesota, and then into uh, Canada, and so the uh, greatest precipitation is going to fall just off to our west as it looks. But uh, we've got another system that will come in on the back side of this in the cold air, and that could mean some snow here as we get towards late this weekend, early this weekend. We'll talk about that in just a second. If we look at the uh, low-level windfall, you can clearly see this uh, pretty deep system now back across the Rockies is going to be heading towards the uh, Minnesota area. And that's about uh, 150 uh, to 200 miles further west, northwest than what it looked like about three days ago. Thus, the very heaviest of the rains will fall across Wisconsin. And because this storm doesn't get farther east, it doesn't give quite as much gulf moisture. And so even the areas of heavy rain will be more like in that one to two inch range uh, versus maybe uh, some of the heavier areas just off the west a couple of days ago. It looked like they could see two, three inches of rain. And it looked like the Great Lakes here, we could see about an inch or two of rain. That is no longer the case, uh, but we'll still see a pretty good rain out of it. I think most areas will see between a quarter inch over in the thumb to as much as three quarters of an inch to an inch along the Lake Michigan shoreline. If we take a look at the radar, you can see that activity trying to come up into the Midwest and Great Lakes. But again, uh, very dry air across the Great Lakes will cause this area of precipitation off to our southwest to uh, begin to weaken and dry up as it moves this way and we'll have to wait for the occluded or cold front to come through I think especially for the day on Wednesday when we'll see our best chances of rain. And you can take a look at this morning's weather map that uh, area of double the double uh, low pressure system we talked about yesterday now getting its uh, act together here across the parts of Kansas, southwest Kansas uh, well on its way up to the north where it's going to merge with another system and that system is going to bring down the coldest air of the year looks like and then as we get in towards the late week and weekend, we could have some interesting weather develop. And you can see by Wednesday morning, that low is now across Minnesota. Here comes the northern stream wave, which is a pretty strong one. And when these two merge, it's going to bomb out as it moves off towards Hudson Bay. And uh, if we take a look at the next weather map, you can see by Thursday morning at 7 a.m., a 967 millibar low. Very powerful. Lots of tight isobars. Lots of wind across the upper Midwest. Not quite so much here for the lower peninsula, but uh, certainly very windy across to areas to our northwest. And you can see how strong that storm is. 967 millibars would be 28 and a half inches of mercury, so a very deep system. And if we look at the forecast map from the system as far as precipitation from the WPC, heaviest rains obviously down near the Gulf, but up into Wisconsin, uh, around an inch to an uh, inch and three quarters. And then across Michigan, about a third of an inch, quarter of an inch, something like that, maybe four tenths across the thumb area. And then we can get over about three quarters of an inch to maybe an inch along the Lake Michigan shoreline. So a pretty good rain. All areas will get some rain out of this system. And then we're looking at a system here uh, by uh, Friday night. It will be coming across the uh, northern Ohio Valley towards Ontario. And as it does, it's going to begin to intensify. You can see at 1016 millibars, not a very strong storm, but when you consider the... Uh, Pressure on either side of it, 1038 millibars. It is a, a low pressure system that will be reckoned with someplace here in the Great Lakes, whether it's far southern lower Michigan, northern Indiana, Ohio, or up across northern Michigan. We're going to have to watch for accumulating snow Friday night into Saturday. And if we try to put this map into motion here, I'll try to kind of animate it a little bit. You can see at 102 hours it's sitting across uh, northern Indiana, Ohio. And if we put this map into motion, you can see how it tries to deepen. And as we move it across, you can see down to uh, 1,000 millibars. So it will be intensifying. And how quick that intensification takes place will determine, I think, the amount of snow that uh, the areas that do receive snow will get. Here's the uh, latest GFS, the 06Z run. This is the very newest one out. Shows about 5 to 9 inches of snow across parts of mid-Michigan back into southern Wisconsin. Again, this, uh, the last run, the midnight run, the 00Z run. 
that we had the heaviest snow across southern lower Michigan. Earlier models had across northern lower Michigan. And we're still several days away from uh, that system, so it's going to probably change several more times. But you can see there is a potential for up to half a foot of snow in some areas, so we're going to want to keep an eye on that very closely. Thanks for stopping by and tune in tomorrow. I'll have my uh, winter forecast out uh, by Wednesday afternoon, maybe with the uh, Wednesday morning video as well. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day and 73s to all.